15. The Black Alien 32-year-old Frenchman Anthony Lofredo has undergone a radical transformation, turning himself into a black alien as part of his self-proclaimed black alien project. The metamorphosis involved removing his upper lip, cutting off his nose, and splitting his tongue. Lafredo, who documented the process that began in 2017 on Instagram for his thousands of followers, covered himself in tattoos and piercings to achieve a real-life alien appearance. One of the images posted to his social media showcased Lafredo without an upper lip, revealing the challenges he faced in speaking after this alteration. Prior to this, he traveled to Spain to have his nose surgically removed by Barcelona-based modifier Oscar Marquez. The procedure, known as a rhinotomy, left Lafredo with a noticeable gap in his face. Expressing gratitude, he posted about the experience, thanking Marquez for marking his life and enabling him to walk with pride. Lafredo's commitment to his extraterrestrial aesthetic went beyond facial alterations. He'd previously undergone ear removal surgeries, a tongue-splitting procedure, and eyeball tattoos, the latter of which poses a risk of blindness. Dermal implants were also added to his face, creating reptilian-style bumps on his forehead and chiseled lines across his cheekbones, contributing to a bumpy texture on his skin. Despite the drastic changes from his once dashing appearance, Lafredo expressed no regrets about his transformation. In 2017, he revealed he's had a passion for body mutations and transformations since a young age. A turning point came when he worked as a security guard, prompting him to reassess his life. At 24, he abandoned his previous life and ventured to Australia where he consciously embraced his fascination with body modifications. Lafredo admitted to enjoying adopting scary character roles and often immersing himself in them, particularly in dark streets at night. He expressed a love for exploring the contrast between the roles he played and his true self. His journey reflects a deeply rooted fascination with body transformation and a conscious decision to live life on his own terms embracing a unique and otherworldly identity. 14. From Glam 24-year-old OnlyFans model Kirsten Milligan from Houston, Texas has embarked on an extravagant journey of body modifications, spending over $64,000 to transform herself into what some describe as a horned hell dweller. Her striking appearance includes tattooed eyeballs, fanged teeth, a split tongue, and various other modifications aimed at creating a unique and unconventional look. Milligan, who's a professional tattoo artist, started altering her appearance at a young age, getting her first tattoo in 2013 at just 14 years old. Her before photos portray a more demure girl next door. But her transformation has made her almost unrecognizable to her loved ones. Despite initial shock, Milligan's family and friends have grown supportive of her wild style, adapting to her evolving identity. Describing her modifications, Milligan mentions tattoos covering her entire body, including her eyeballs, a split tongue, and fanged teeth. She's also had a lipo 360 procedure and two breast augmentations. She acknowledges that public reactions to her bold choices are mixed, with responses from strangers on the street being a blend of both love and hate. But despite occasional judgmental encounters, Milligan remains resilient, happily ignoring negativity and embracing the support of fans who appreciate her fearless style. While her physical transformation has been extensive, Milligan asserts that it's far from complete. She highlights the pain endured during the process, particularly when her tongue was split comparing it to a more challenging experience than getting tattooed. Undeterred by the discomfort, however, Milligan expresses plans for further body modifications, including additional tattoos and potential surgeries, emphasizing her ongoing commitment to shaping her unique and unconventional identity. 13. Bieber 
Tobias Strebel, also known as Toby Sheldon, a man who dedicated $100,000 to plastic surgery in an attempt to emulate Justin Bieber, tragically passed away in August of 2015. The 35-year-old was discovered dead in a motel room in the San Fernando Valley a week after being reported missing and last being seen in West Hollywood. The Los Angeles County Coroner's report revealed that Sheldon's cause of death was multiple drug intoxication, with Valium, Xanax, alcohol, and the sleep aid Temazepam identified in his system. The overdose was ruled accidental and authorities found no signs of trauma dismissing suspicions of foul play. Sheldon gained public attention through appearances on reality TV shows like Botched and My Strange Addiction in 2014, where he openly discussed his relentless pursuit of resembling the Canadian pop star. His extensive cosmetic procedures included multiple hair transplants, fillers under the eyebrows, skin removal on the eyelids, a chin reduction, and various lip enhancements. In a 2014 interview with TLC, Sheldon shared his unconventional approach to spending money, stating, Some people buy fancy cars or fancy mansions. What I do with my money is I just get surgery to look more like Justin Bieber. But despite the media attention and Sheldon's efforts to replicate Bieber's appearance, his life came to a tragic end. The coroner's findings highlighted the presence of various prescription drugs in his system raising questions about the potential risks associated with extensive cosmetic interventions. The circumstances surrounding his death underscore the complex relationships some individuals have with cosmetic surgery and the importance of considering the potential health implications of such procedures. 12. Real Life Vampire Born in Guadalajara, Mexico, Maria Jose Cristerna, known as the Real Life Vampire, holds a record-breaking 49 body modifications, earning her a place in the record books. Her extensive alterations include forehead and arm implants, numerous piercings, a split tongue, and almost 100% tattoo coverage on her body. Christerna, featured on Guinness World Records YouTube channel, shares advice cautioning against impulsively copying her stressing the irreversible nature of body modifications. Speaking on the YouTube channel, Christerna urges careful consideration, particularly for young individuals drawn to tattoos and piercings as trends. She acknowledges the possibility of evolving preferences and warns against regretting modifications later in life. Despite her cautionary words, she expresses love for her unique appearance and encourages others to think deeply before committing to body modifications. Having started modifying her body in 1990 at the age of 14, Christerna highlights the painful journey of transformation, citing arm implants and eyeball tattooing as particularly excruciating. Her motivation for the extensive modifications stemmed from escaping an abusive relationship. After finding freedom, she embraced her true self, utilizing tattoos, filed teeth, and titanium horns to express her identity. At 37, Christerna, a mother of four and former lawyer, is committed to ongoing transformations as long as her health allows. In a video tour with Guinness World Records, she showcased her modified appearance and recounts the painful processes that contributed to her unique look. And despite the challenges, she remains dedicated to her evolving identity. Christerna's journey is deeply personal, marked by a desire for self-expression and freedom from past traumas. Marked by a desire for self-expression and freedom from past traumas. Her dedication to body modifications extends beyond personal choices. She's also a skilled tattoo artist. Viewing tattooing as a way to achieve a form of immortality by leaving her mark on others. Recognized by Ripley's Believe It or Not with a life-size wax model, Christerna's story reflects resilience, self-discovery, and the pursuit of individuality through unconventional means. Her cautionary advice serves as a reminder of the permanence of body modifications and the importance of thoughtful consideration before embarking on such transformative journeys. 11. The Tragic Life of Stalking Cat 
Dennis Avner, known as Stalking Cat, was an ex-U.S. Navy veteran and computer programmer whose life's goal was to resemble a big cat as closely as possible. Motivated by a Native American heritage and a Huron medicine man's advice to follow the ways of the tiger, Avner underwent numerous plastic surgery operations and body modifications. Avner embraced his American Indian name, Stalking Cat, and believed that he was following an ancient Wyandot tradition. His transformation involved treatments like lip splitting, pointy ears, cheek and forehead implants, tooth sharpening, tiger-style tattoos, piercings for whiskers, and silicone injections in his lips, cheeks, and chin. Avner expressed a profound connection to cats, stating, Being a tiger is more important to me than humanity. Active in the furry community, Avner formed a close friendship with Tess Calhoun and her husband Rick Weiss. Sadly though, financial troubles led to Avner seeking a new place to live in 2007, as his friends could no longer afford to support him. Despite challenges, he gained worldwide fame, winning the title of the most permanent transformations to look like an animal in the Guinness Book of World Records. Avner's extensive body modifications garnered both admiration and concern from physicians. Some expressed worries about potential harm and suggested that he might suffer from body dysmorphic disorder. Avner's fame extended to appearances on Ripley's Believe It or Not, VH1's Totally Obsessed, and Animal Planet's Weird, True, and Freaky. But tragically, Avner's life took a dark turn. In 2012, at the age of 54, he was found dead in his Nevada home. A blog post by his friend Shannon Larotte revealed that Avner had taken his own life. Larotte highlighted Avner's strong identification with feline totem animals and his exploration of both gender and species lines in the pursuit of adopting the physical form of his totem. The news marked the end of a complex and deeply personal journey that blended cultural traditions, personal identity, and the challenges of accepting and understanding. 10. Human Ken Doll Jessica Alves, formerly known as the Human Ken Doll, gained fame for her extensive cosmetic procedures, investing over $1.4 million in more than 100 surgeries. Transitioning from Rodrigo to Jessica in 2020, she embraced her transgender identity, undergoing gender reassignment surgery and further transformations to align her appearance with her true self as a woman. Recent images from Kamal Cosmetic Hospital in Bangkok, Thailand reveal the results of Jessica's latest surgeries, including a full facelift, head reduction surgery, and a voice pitch change. Despite the procedures, she appeared in good spirits, signaling a V as she left the clinic. Jessica's journey involved overcoming challenges related to her voice, describing it as androgynous and causing confusion over the phone. The transformation also included intimate aspects, with Jessica sharing her excitement about experiencing life as a woman. Expressing satisfaction with the results, she emphasized that her behaved similarly to a biological one. Jessica Alves started her cosmetic journey at 17, using the name Rodrigo and becoming known as the Human Ken Doll by age 35. Her extensive surgeries included a cat eye lift, multiple nose jobs, and figure enhancements. Then in 2020, she publicly revealed her transgender identity, prompting further changes to achieve a more feminine physique, including the removal of her abs and the adoption of a curvier shape. By 2023, Jessica decided to put an end to further cosmetic procedures, expressing contentment with her body. She shared inspirational messages on social media, embracing her identity as a woman and expressing pride in her appearance. And in a recent post, she declared herself 100% done with plastic surgery, celebrating the fulfillment of her dreams as the woman she always envisioned. 9. Mod Boy UK native Ethan Bramble, who's now known as Mod Boy, claimed the title of the world's most modified youth. Showcasing his transformation from a clean-cut kid to a body modification enthusiast. At 22, Bramble shared new images revealing over 40 extreme modifications. 
including tattooed eyeballs, punched nostrils, a removed belly button, a split tongue, a cut labrae, and ears with missing halves. Bramble's journey into body modification began at the age of 11 when he stretched his ears. By 13, he frequented tattoo parlors, delving into more extreme forms of body alteration. He claims that the most intense change was at 17 when his tongue was split, causing excruciating pain and necessitating upright sleeping for five days to avoid complications. With a significant online following of over 125,000 on Instagram, Bramble considers himself no different from those who alter their appearance with hair dye or makeup. He emphasizes the importance of personal choice in how one wants to look and rejects judgment based on appearance. According to him, the end result justifies the torment if one is committed to the transformation. Despite facing criticism, Bramble's fans are fascinated by his unique looks. He defends his choices, stating that altering his body is a personal decision akin to any other beauty or style preference. He believes in challenging social norms about judging individuals based on their appearance. Among Bramble's numerous modifications, he highlights the eyeball tattoo as the most frightening experience. Describing the process, he recalls the stress of staring at a specific spot while someone held his eyelids open, emphasizing the potential risk of blindness if the eyeball moved during the procedure. Ethan Bramble's journey exemplifies a commitment to self-expression through extreme body modifications, challenging societal norms, and advocating for non-judgment based on appearance. His story reflects the intersection of personal choice, identity, and the evolving perceptions of beauty in the modern world. 8. The World's Biggest Bum Natasha Crown, a 29-year-old Swedish plastic surgery enthusiast, recently appeared on the YouTube show Hooked on the Look for a Blind Date. With over 2 million Instagram followers, Natasha has undergone numerous cosmetic procedures, gaining fame for her unique transformations and, more recently, focusing on achieving the world's biggest bum. Despite Natasha's extreme looks, including a full facelift, head reduction surgery, and voice pitch change, she's been single for several years, attributing her relationship challenges to men finding her intimidating. Natasha expressed her determination to continue body modifications and reach her goal of having the world's biggest bum, having already undergone five Brazilian butt lifts. Her latest appearance on the show featured a blind date, where her extreme look shocked her companion. He admitted to never meeting someone famous for having the biggest butt in the world, and the date concluded that they were from two different worlds. Natasha, understanding the difficulty of handling her thickness and curves, didn't feel a spark either. Natasha's obsession with achieving a record-breaking 90-inch, 229-centimeter circumference for her derriere led her to undergo risky fat transfer procedures. She deliberately gained weight, consuming excessive amounts of pizza, pasta, and Nutella to reach her goal. Natasha defended her procedures, asserting that it wasn't dangerous as it involved her own fat. Appearing on This Morning in 2018, in 2018, Natasha twerked her enormous derriere, causing laughter from the host Holly Willoughby. Concerns were raised about the procedure's safety, but Natasha emphasized her commitment to exercising daily to maintain muscle tone. Her extreme lifestyle and appearance have garnered Natasha both fans and critics. She acknowledged having more critics than supporters, but she emphasized her financial success through her website and online presence. 7. Becoming Kim Kardashian Jennifer Pamplona, a former Brazilian Versace model, spent nearly $600,000 on cosmetic surgeries over 12 years to resemble Kim Kardashian, undergoing more than 40 procedures. Pamplona's transformation garnered international attention, leading to over a million Instagram followers. However, she realized that the recognition was solely based on her appearance, causing dissatisfaction and an addiction to surgeries. 
in 2022, driven by body dysmorphia, Pamplona decided to detransition to her original looks and sought a doctor in Istanbul for the process. The extensive surgery, costing six figures, included a face and neck lift, buckle fat removal, cat eye surgery, lip lift, and a nose job. Despite complications and despite complications and bleeding from her cheeks due to an infection, Pamplona is on the road to recovery, though final results are yet to be seen due to swelling and bruising. Reflecting on the experience, Pamplona expressed relief, stating, the best feeling is knowing I'm not in a fight with myself anymore. She shared post-detransition selfies to reveal the reality of beauty procedures and emphasize the imperfections often concealed on platforms like Instagram. Pamplona is working on a documentary titled Addiction to highlight the dangers of cosmetic operations and has partnered with a doctor to open a foundation in Brazil to help those with body dysmorphia. In her quest to assist others, Pamplona aims to use her life story to raise awareness about the downsides of surgical addiction. Despite the challenges, she asserts that her face is now more beautiful, expressing contentment with her journey. And in her own words, she said, I feel like I can help a lot of people with my life story. 6. Barbie Surgeon Butcher Lindsay Colosimo from Del Rey Beach traveled to Colombia in May of 2019 for plastic surgery, seeking affordable procedures. Dr. Carlos Ramos in Medellin performed over three surgeries on her, promising a transformative outcome. Colosimo, initially impressed by Ramos's online presence and positive reviews, underwent breast augmentation, tummy tuck, and a butt lift simultaneously. But post-surgery, Colosimo faced complications, including necrosis leading to the loss of her nipple. And as a result, she wore a wound vacuum for up to six months. Despite contacting Ramos about concerns, he reassured her, downplaying the severity of the issues. Colosimo eventually sought medical advice in the US revealing an E. coli infection and complications requiring additional surgeries. Colosimo's lawyer highlighted Colombia's lack of laws requiring plastic surgeons to have specific qualifications, contributing to the rise of unlicensed practitioners. Ramos, though not licensed in Colombia, operates with a Brazilian license. Victims face challenges pursuing legal action bearing the cost of experts and battling powerful unlicensed surgeons. Ramos's attorney accused Colosimo of knowing and accepting surgery risks and consuming alcohol post-surgery. Colosimo denies drinking though, shedding light on the abnormality of her situation. Bernardo Guerra, a retired doctor, criticized the prevalence of unlicensed surgeons in Colombia calling it a public health problem affecting both locals and international patients. Ramos had previously faced charges related to a patient's death in Puerto Rico, but was found not guilty. And now he's accused of homicide for another patient's death in Colombia. Guara stressed the lack of respect for life and ethics in such cases, emphasizing financial interests over well-being. Colosimo, determined to prevent others from facing similar issues, plans to file a criminal case against Ramos. Her recovery journey, expected to last six months to a year, involves additional surgeries not covered by insurance. Colosimo regrets her decision and hopes her story serves as a warning to others, urging self-acceptance and caution when considering plastic surgery. 5. Russian Popeye In 2021, Kirill Treshin, a 25-year-old Russian MMA fighter known as Popeye for his massive petroleum jelly-injected biceps, faced a warning from Dr. Dmitry Melnikov about potential life-threatening consequences if he didn't remove the toxic substance soon. Treshin, who already had fake triceps removed, encountered surgery delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite having 24-inch biceps, and 310,000 Instagram followers, Tereshin faced high risks of complications from the injected petroleum jelly, which could impact his kidneys and lead to death. 
Dr. Melnikov emphasized that inaction wouldn't benefit Tereshin, urging him to undergo the necessary surgery. In preparation for the procedure, Tereshin underwent a CT scan in Russia. Acknowledging the potential risks, he expressed uncertainty about the outcome of the upcoming complex and challenging surgery. Regretting his initial decision to bulk up his arms at the age of 20 without considering the consequences. In 2019, Tereshin's cosmetic enhancements didn't translate to success in the ring, as he lost to an opponent 20 years his senior in just three minutes. Post-surgery, he began experiencing problems caused by the implants, prompting Alana Mamaiva, a leading advocate against cosmetic surgery abuses, to convince him to prioritize his health by removing the toxic fillers. Acknowledging his own guilt, Tereshin shared his concern about potential nerve damage that could affect his arm movement. He stressed the importance of starting the surgeries to eliminate the nightmare caused by the injected petroleum jelly. And at 24, he recognized the resilience of his immune system in coping with inflammation, but remained uncertain about future developments. 4. Lip Filler Addiction Stefani Gaiten, a Swedish woman, shared her cosmetic procedure gone wrong on TikTok after her quest for the perfect pout resulted in a lip filler disaster. Gaiten revealed that her lips exploded after she had a staggering 11 milliliters of filler injected, leading to stitches and a scar on her face. In a TikTok video posted on Sunday, Guy Tan documented her journey into lip fillers, showing a series of selfies capturing her lips progressively getting larger. The content creator, initially satisfied with her relatively large lips, decided to enhance them further and started with one milliliter of filler. But unhappy with the initial results, she continued to seek more filler, eventually accumulating a total of 11 milliliters her lips couldn't withstand the excessive amount of filler, resulting in them splitting open. Guy Tan had to undergo stitches to repair the damage, leaving her with a small scar above her mouth. The video garnered over 184,000 views, with Guy Tan expressing regret and vowing never to get filler again. Concerned viewers took to the comments section to warn against exceeding five milliliters of filler emphasizing the importance of practitioners prioritizing safety. Gaitan responded, criticizing the person who performed the procedure, accusing them of prioritizing profits over her health and safety. In a straightforward remark, she stated, everything is for money. This story should act as a cautionary tale about the potential risks and consequences associated with excessive cosmetic procedures, and the importance of putting safety over aesthetic goals. 3. Botched Weight Loss Surgery A 53-year-old mom from Montana underwent weight loss surgery in Colombia, spending $4,000 on liposuction in October of 2018. However, just days after the procedure, complications arose as the flesh around her wound began to rot and turned black. Cyril's, a truck driver, faced a severe aftermath leading to seven surgeries in an attempt to address the botched surgery, and resulting in nasty scars across her abdomen when her stitches burst open. Choosing Columbia for the surgery due to specialized procedures at reasonable prices, Searles encountered a traumatic experience. The deteriorating condition of her skin prompted concerns about potential lapses in medical hygiene procedures during the surgery. She expressed how pain medication masked the severity of her situation, and her skin completely died, leaving her in constant pain. Desperate for answers, Searle sought information from doctors in Colombia, but faced additional challenges in locating the surgeon responsible for her condition, describing him as missing in action and facing 34 cases against him. Initially weighing around 182 pounds, or 82.5 kilograms, Searles opted for liposuction on her legs, stomach, and back to boost her confidence. Despite researching the procedure through various channels, including YouTube videos, she highlighted discrepancies in the aftercare provided, 
such as the absence of protective measures like plastic wrapping over the surgery or a bodysuit. Within two days post-surgery, Searles observed redness, inflammation, and signs of skin death. Subsequent operations, including skin grafts and drainage, aimed to address the complications arising from the initial liposuction. The hospital in Columbia attempted to oxygenate the skin, but by then it had turned completely black. The traumatic experience took a toll on Searle's confidence, leaving her emotionally devastated. She shed light on the impact it had on her life, expressing a desire for justice against those responsible for her ordeal. The physical and emotional toll on her recovery led her to hope for a resolution that would allow her to regain a sense of normalcy and confidence. Two, Scar Smelled Like Rotten Meat Holly McCulloch, a 28-year-old woman from Manchester, claims that a breast implant procedure she underwent abroad left her with a lopsided chest and severe complications. Allegedly spending $3,500 for the surgery and an all-inclusive stay in Turkey, McCulloch expressed feeling like a total freak after her care was mismanaged. McCulloch initially traveled to Turkey in August of 2018 for the breast implant surgery after seeing an ad on Instagram featuring celebrities and high-profile clients. She started having suspicions about the clinic's practices upon arrival, but didn't question them due to her nerves regarding the procedure. McCulloch claimed to be sedated in an elevator and communicated with nurses through a translation app. After waking up from the first procedure in significant pain due to the size of her implants, McCulloch had them removed during a second surgery, leaving her with loose, saggy skin. Despite promises of free implants during a return visit, she experienced complications after choosing smaller implants in January 2019. Feeling unwell, she returned home to Manchester and was taken directly to Withenshaw Hospital from the airport. Doctors discovered a large blister along one incision and treated her with antibiotics for an infection. However, her surgical wounds started leaking green and yellow pus, and her skin turned black. Despite assurances from doctors, her condition worsened and by mid-February, she noticed a rotten meat smell, eventually realizing that her implant was poking through the skin. The local hospital then informed her that the implant needed removal to prevent a life-threatening infection. So McCulloch was scheduled for implant removal surgery, facing the aftermath of the botched procedure. The NHS advises against cosmetic surgery packaged with holidays and warns against unfamiliar hospitals and surgeons. Cosmetic surgery is deemed a major undertaking, and immediate post-surgery holiday activities like drinking, sun exposure, or energetic activities are discouraged for a proper recovery. And now for number one. But if you want to hear more bizarre and crazy stories, stay tuned after the video for some more content. One, Brazilian butt lift gone wrong. In 2019, 26-year-old Angela Pedrosa shared gruesome images of her buttocks after a Brazilian butt lift, BBL, went horribly wrong. Angela underwent the procedure in Rio de Janeiro, where 300 milliliters of industrial silicone were allegedly injected into both cheeks during a back alley practice. The bogus doctor, identified as Simone Costa, a massage therapist with no medical qualifications performed the surgery, and as a result, Angela suffered from rotting flesh, massive craters, and severe complications. Angela initially sought aesthetic bum enhancement injections to achieve a perkier appearance. Simone Costa's back alley practice, recommended for its low prices and butt augmentation services, allegedly used silicone instead of the expected hydrogel in Angela's case. After the botched surgery, Angela endured unsightly scars and spent over two months in excruciating pain in the hospital. Angela's family warned her against the procedure, but she proceeded anyway, having two injections in just one month. 
Despite hearing about deaths related to similar surgeries in Brazil, Angela believed that she wouldn't face the same fate. Angela's first session involved injecting 100 milliliters, and a month later, she returned for the final top-up of 200 milliliters. Post-surgery, Angela experienced severe pain, leading to an emergency hospital visit. Sepsis started affecting her body, causing it to balloon in size. Angela then spent over two months in the hospital experiencing depression and facing the risk of death. Doctors intervened to save Angela's life by cutting out decaying cells and administering antibiotics and steroids. Despite surviving, Angela needed to wait for up to a year for reconstructive surgery. The follow-up Brazilian butt lift involved transferring fat from other areas of her body to rebuild her disfigured backside. In November 2019, plastic surgeons removed fat deposits under liposuction to reconstruct Angela's bum. But the procedure faced complications. The transplanted deposits were rejected, causing them to rot away and leaving Angela with a lopsided rear end. Angela faced continuous pain, stitches splitting, and leakage of the fat that was transferred. Simone Costa, the alleged bogus doctor, was arrested and faced charges of grievous bodily harm, causing permanent damage and operating illegally. Thankfully though, despite being released on bail, Costa's clinic was reportedly closed. Angela, now terrified that the reconstruction might not work, awaits further surgery to equalize the shape of her buttocks. Number 10. Farah Abraham The popular show Teen Mom's Farah Abraham landed in the ER back in 2015 after she got lip injections that left her with a duck face. Farah was no stranger to plastic surgery when she got the botched lip injections. She had already gotten her breast increase from a size C to a whopping size D back in 2013. And while her previous experiences with plastic surgery may have been okay, the 2015 experience was anything but. At 23 years old, she revealed through a tweet that her lip injections went so badly that she had to check into the emergency room. The problem was that her top lip became way too swollen. We've all heard of the duck lips, but this was a serious duck lip. The hospital staff put her in a hospital bed, gave her powerful painkillers, and she had to stay in the hospital until the swelling in her lip went down. When nurses admitted her, the top lip was roughly 10 times larger than the lower lip, definitely not what she had intended through the operation. Sadly, people on social media ridiculed her mercilessly. Farah had been trying to improve herself, and yet the internet mocked her, with some people comparing her to Leela from the animated series Futurama. Some people even said she looked like no Sizzlack from The Simpsons. The good news is that the swelling has gone down, and Farah is back to normal. Number 9. Amanda Lepore The media quoted Amanda Lepore as saying, I've got the most expensive body on earth. The trans party mogul, an enormous star in the New York party scene, revealed in 2014 how a transformation, which started at 19, was incredibly painful. She had three breast augmentations, buttocks implants, and had her bottom ribs broken so that she would appear to have a smaller waist. It was an unusual procedure that was illegal in the US, which meant she had to go to Mexico to get the procedure done. The Mexican doctors broke the floating rib in the back and pushed it in. That way, there was no scar. But Amanda didn't stop there. She's had several nips and tucks, giving her what some say is the perfect hourglass figure but she had a lot more done than just molding her figure the way she always wanted. She also had lip injections, fillers, at least one nose job, a lowered hairline, a forehead lift, and plenty of Botox. When asked who her inspirations were for all the work, she replied Marilyn Monroe and Jessica Rabbit. Amanda said that she did not want to emulate the girls she grew up with, the very people who made fun of her. Instead, she wanted to look like a real-life movie star. Amanda never determined how much money all her procedures cost, but admitted it was a lot. She also acknowledged that by far the most painful procedure she had done was switching from male to female. She said it didn't hurt when she got it done at the hospital, but the healing process was agonizing. Number 8. Katie Price Reality star Katie Price had her very first procedure done in 1998, a typical breast augmentation, moving her from a size B cup to a size C cup. It would be the first of many procedures. 
she had another augmentation done in 1999, back when her name was Jordan, and then another one a year later to take her to a 32G cup. She met her husband Peter Andre in 2007 and shrunk down to a 32F, then 32D, but Katie went back up in 2012. Two years later, she changed her mind and went back down again to a 32B. This was right before having to remove the implants completely because all at work had caused them to get infected. But the infection was only a minor setback. In June 2016, the mother of five went to a clinic in Brussels and was under the knife yet again. She settled on having 32 double G bust. The next year in July, she wanted to fix her sagging cheeks and blurred jawline and underwent more plastic surgery. And in May 2019, she got a second facelift done in Turkey. Believe it or not, Katie admitted that before this second facelift, she had found her own body disgusting. And since 2019, she's gotten at least six more procedures. Katie spent over $500,000 on surgeries and even over $120,000 just to have perfect teeth. She says she's not addicted to surgery and has compared her body to a vehicle, saying if you got a scratch or dent in your car, you would fix it. And that's exactly how Katie feels about her body. She says she's not trying to look younger and definitely not trying to look like an alien, but just wants to feel good. And you can't fold it for that. Number 7. Joan Van Ark Joan Van Ark was extremely famous between the 1970s and 1990s. She starred in soap operas like Dallas and then moved on to other shows like The Young and The Restless in 2004. But her looks have changed a lot throughout the years. And in 2020, a source who had recently seen Joan told The Globe that it looked as though her face was melting. The insider also said they felt sad to see Van Ark in the state she was in and that she should have left things well enough alone. Plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yoon told the National Enquirer that Van Ark's appearance is almost certainly because of one or more facelifts, which have caused her neckline and jawline to look unnaturally tight. He also believes she's had a brow lift and Botox, and that she should stop immediately. Joan Van Ark never liked the way she looked. This is according to the same insider, who said it now looks like her face is melting. The insider said Joan's looks have always disappointed her, and that once she had money, she improved herself with plastic surgery. It's a sad case, because this time, the surgery didn't seem to do what Joan had hoped, and there isn't exactly any way of reversing it. Number 6. Michaela Romanini Michaela Romanini was born on the 1st of January 1971. The Italian national began her modeling career in the 1990s and became an international beauty icon. She was a natural stunner from a rich family who made her way to the top even without a modeling agency. She's been called the Paris Hilton of Italy for her fame, beauty, and success. But like so many beautiful people with a lot of money, Michaela turned to plastic surgery. Those close to her say that Michaela, almost certainly as a byproduct of the world she had entered at a young age, became obsessed with perfectionism. She always needed to be perfect and ultimately beautiful. She was unhappy with her lips when she first had her experience with plastic surgery. Even though most would have agreed that they were already plump enough, she went under the knife anyway. But the surgery did not change her face in the way she had desired and instead turned her lips into something that many thought looked strange. From here on, it was a downward spiral. Botox, collagen injections, everything to get the perfect face. What happened was a slow transformation from the 100% natural woman who had succeeded as a model to a person who looked completely different. Number 5. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn Wildenstein is a New York socialite who has allegedly spent over $5 million on surgical procedures. Looking at her before and after pictures, you can see all that money transformed Jocelyn into a different person. Her nickname is Catwoman. Jocelyn was born in Switzerland and was married to a wealthy art dealer, Alec Wildenstein, who passed away in 2008. One of the more strange things about Jocelyn is that she and her husband had shared a bizarre love for cats, and this had inspired some of her procedures. For example, it's believed she has undergone canthopexy, a procedure designed to elevate the eyes and make them look more like cat eyes. Jocelyn also underwent eyelid surgery, a facelift, chin augmentation, and received several implants and lip injections. And even when she was 71 years old in 2018, Jocelyn said she was nowhere near finished with plastic surgery. She also denied any rumors that she's addicted to the thrill. Number 4. Pete Burns Pete Burns was quoted in an interview in 2016, saying, 
I hope when I'm 80, when I get to heaven, God doesn't recognize me. Pete knew exactly how different he looked in 2016, compared to 35 years earlier when he was bursting onto the British pop scene as the frontman of the group Dead or Alive. But tragically, on October 24, 2016, he passed away from a heart attack at 57. The passing was sudden, it took everyone by surprise, and adoring fans have missed him ever since. Not only did Pete leave behind an outstanding music career and a legacy that will surely last, but he was also one of the more interesting celebrity transformations anyone has ever seen. After the 1985 single that propelled Pete to stardom, he started experimenting with plastic surgery. If you don't know what song he sang, think, spin you right round baby right round. His first procedure was to fix his broken nose, something simple to help his self-esteem while on camera. But he was unhappy with the results, so he underwent a corrective procedure. 300 more procedures would follow this, give or take a few. Many procedures he had done for his nose, lots of cheekbone implants, lip augmentations, and much more. In a 2010 interview with ABC, Pete said he saw himself as clay and that he could mold himself however he saw fit. Some people may have thought he looked strange, but Pete was perfectly happy, transforming himself any way he desired. Number 3. Carla Bruni Carla Bruni is a European singer and fashion model who caught the attention of the former president of France, Nicolas Sarkozy, and married him in 2008. In 2012, Carla was 44 years old. She was also under attack by a vicious Los Angeles skin expert named Dr. Ben Benham. The doctor, a leading dermatologist in America, said she had gotten too much Botox and that she looked like a chipmunk. His exact words were, she's had way too much done. The woman who had once been on the cover of Christian Dior and Givenchy had gotten a lateral brow lift and fillers in her cheeks. But according to the doctor, the results did not make her look natural. According to everyone else, it was none of the doctor's business. The problem was that Carla married the president of France, and ever since, the media captured her in the ugliest light possible. She became the focus of the French media, and they posted unflattering photographs of her everywhere. It was around the same time she gave birth to her first baby. And after the baby, she started getting Botox and fillers, and by the looks of it, she became a bit addicted. Even so, it was only because of her relationship with the president that everyone bullied her so relentlessly. Number 2. Heidi Montag TV star Heidi Montag recently admitted that she sometimes regrets all the plastic surgery she has gotten through the years, specifically the roughly 10 procedures she had already gone through by the time she was 23. Her revelation came as she was dancing TikTok, and all anyone was interested in talking about were her surgeries. It was in 2010 when the Hill star underwent 10 procedures in a single day. Heidi didn't just get one thing fixed. She put her money together to do all the operations she could in one big sweep. She got a brow lift, a chin reduction, Botox injections, and more. And then afterward, she endured a devastating recovery process. When asked about her surgeries back then, Heidi said she felt better, looked better, and was way happier. She also said she was planning to continue using surgery to remain as perfect as she could be. But now at 32, Heidi has a much different outlook on the procedures. She says that she was too young to make such a decision, and that the only reason she did it was that she was under pressure. 2010 was the beginning of the comments section, the start when people could say whatever they wanted online. All the negativity and hate that Heidi saw on the internet motivated her to look even better than she already did. Number 1. Courtney Cox Courtney Cox is, without a doubt, one of the most famous people in Hollywood. The legendary French star has gotten a lot of cosmetic procedures done since the show ended, and more recently, she's been getting candid about these procedures. She's about to turn 60, and she looks a lot different than she did in her 30s, and even in her 40s. The reason isn't age, it's surgery. According to Courtney herself, there was a time when she tried to chase her youth. She realized that she was getting older, and her face was changing, and she didn't like it. It wasn't until much later that she realized that she was looking extremely strange. All the injections and things she was doing to her face were making her look weird, and she admitted it. Courtney is now embracing her age. She opened up about all this stuff in February 2022 while promoting her new TV series Shining Veil. Vale. Courtney now says she's happy with who she is, how she looks, and how old she is. She also said that it was about the time when the public began talking negatively about her looks that she said to herself, I have to stop. And so even though you might see some crazy pictures of her online, they're probably old and out of date. Courtney's transformation from this point on is going to be a natural one. 
If one of your close friends told you that they plan to get plastic surgery to change something about their body that they're insecure about, would you support them and wish them well? Or would you warn them of the dangers and risks associated with plastic surgery and instead recommend therapy to address their body dysmorphia? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.